ओम ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवलम ज्ञान मूर्ति वंदातीतम त्रिगुण रहितम तस्य मस्यादि लक्षण एकम नित्यम विमल मचलम सर्वदी साक्षी हुतम भावातीतम त्रिगुण रहितम सद्गुरुं तम नमामि ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नम ध्यान मूलम गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूलम गुरु पदम मंत्र मूलम गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूलम गुरु कृपा सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिवम टुडे वी आर टेकिंग द थर्टीन स्टेंजा ऑफ चैप्टर सेवन द स्टेंजा इज टेलिंग दैट इफ यू डू नॉट योर सेल्फ then you will be be fooled by the maya the chapter this is stanza is telling if you do not know your existence inside then the maya will mesmerize you अभिजानाति माम एव्य परम अव्ययम त्रिभी इट मींस थ्री टाइप्स गुणमय it gunamaya it means function of gunas sato gunas rasu gunas and tamo gunas bhave it means why the by these functions the psychological and physical effects on person if he it means these three if he it means these three sarvatram it means total idam it means this jagat it means all living beings mohitam it means mesmerized or hypnotize no it means uh, never not abhi janati it means no no you mam it means to me abhya it means uh, by these gunas param it means beyond abhyam it means immortal krishna saying my dear arjuna if you do not know yourself or do not know inside my existence then these three gunas sato guna jaraju guna and tamo gunas and their effects and their functions they will be create physical and physiological and psychological mesmerism inside of you then you will be mesmerized so that total living beings they are mesmerized by this hypnotism of three gunas 
then they hypnotize by these three gunas, they do not know about me, that I am immortal and I am beyond all these three gunas. Sadguru Satchidananda Paramatma, the only and only installation and only and only base and the all galaxies presence inside of which very very largest presence the uncountable gal galaxy is laying like a particle in his presence and he is very merciful he is very merciful he came on the earth for the welfare of his knowers he came on the earth for the welfare of his seekers. He came on the earth for the welfare of his lovers. He was the complete divine love. And all gop and gopis, they are the divine person from the millions of years they are loving Krishna, loving Krishna. So, he was a total highest peak of every dimension of the life, love, wisdom, power, might, destruction, and reconstruction of the society. So he is telling to Arjuna and giving a warning or giving a message for save Arjuna from the Maya. He is telling that my dear Arjun Trifi Gudmai Bhave my three type of gunas, sato gunas, rajo gunas, and tamo gunas. These are my three type of gunas. And the three type of gunas create their effects. And that the effect is very powerful. They have like a sedation, like a hypnotism, like a mesmerism, like a complete atten attention towards them. So they snatch the awareness of every living being and only every living being can involve in this effect of the gunas that living being cannot turn into the soul or its own consciousness because the, these three gunas create so much big drama so much deep effect that the every living being caught in the net of these three gunas. So that is the meaning gunamaye. Gunamaye means the functioning gunas, sato gunas, tamo gunas and the rajo gunas.
Krishna is standing to all seekers, you and me and others, all lovers, and describing the deep scientific secrets of spirituality, spirituality, and he is still telling clearly that sarva idam jagataha, the total living beings and total the total world are Mohitam, Mohitam, it means the total living wings, they are being unconscious in these functions and effects of three gunas. The total <coughs> living wings, they are Unconscious, they are sleeping in a deep sleep, and the gunas showing them the dreams, and they are seeing dreams, and they do not do anything. Three gunas create a deep sleep, snatch all the awareness. Nobody can awake by the sleep of three gunas. So, the holy persons and holy books say Ramayana, Gita, Upanishadas, Vedas, Puranas, all it says that this life of a blind person who is living in the Maya, that is like a dream. And that person who is awake inside of existence, presence of existence, he was a real awakened person. He was a real awakened person. So, my dear friend, When the person is mesmerized or hypnotized by the three gunas, they do not know about the immortality of the nectar of presence existence inside them. They do not know. Because I am the indirect living God inside of them, and I am the existing every time inside of them in the form of Atma. And he do not know about me that I am the immortal presence of the nectar inside. Because these three gunas, the Rajogunas, Satogunas, Tamogunas, Tamo, Rajo, Satho. These three types of gunas, they have millions type of the sentiments and emotional conditions. 
they have millions type of worried mottos objectives goals attractions functions duties pleasures sorrows tensions fears uncertainty blindness many many type of many many type of cases or the rope knots they have and the innocent jivatma the living beings who is completely unknowing the internal truth easily caught in these functional befooling tricks i want to describe some tricks the tamogunas tricks what create the tamogunas tamoguna create a very deep foolishness in a person tano tamogunas create a unconscious ness when a person cannot decide what is good and what is bad what is right and what is wrong you often see in the society that persons taking the liquor wine you often see in the societies the persons eating the bad food you often see in that countries and your and your surroundings the persons use the tobacco they are taking inside of their body drugs and the addiction of the drugs and some persons they are not taking even the drugs or the alcohol but they are top class foolish person fool person they cannot understand any teaching any advice they do not accept they can do any crime they can do the theft they can do the de decoit they can do the killings and everything snatching and some type of tamoguna guni persons they are not do any work they totally depend on their family they eat and sleep and do not help the family work or the work of the business or anything they are living like a mad person these are only the effect of the tamoguna but it is a very small discussion of tamogunas 
Tamagula's effect is the total effect of the Maya and every guna have a big and biggest spectrum to hide the consciousness of every living being. So the second guna is the Rajoguna. A person who was who was living who is living in the Rajoguna, he wants to control other person, he wants to administration, he wants to administrator, he wants to collect more money, more power, more, more position. The Rajoguna person is the person who wants who want to govern other person. So by the Rajogunas, he need many many person his involvation and he manage everything around his desires so this type of tamaguna rajoguna making full of every living being you can see the fame in their family. The husband can't control his wife and he pressurizes his wife that wife do as he want. And somewhere the wife control want to control his husband or husband. And sometime you, you can see there is two gunas create their effect there is big fight also and big lack of peace so the rajoguna give the involvement in the governance desire inside of a man or woman then in this desire he spend his whole life and his life destroy in the worldly activities and he will not reach in the destination of knowing inside of his God. He, he, he do not aware in himself and he he lost his chance to liberation. Now the third gun, Satogunas. The Satoguna is the most cleverous trick of three gunas of Maya. The Satoguna makes a man truthful, good, spirit, uh, divine, religious and uh, the society respect that person and he do everything that society approved. So, he do like the prayers, uh, the making the temples or churches or anything and he is the good uh, knower of holy books uh, and uh, he can, uh, uh, he is the very very sharp mind, he create the new god and goddess and advertise them that god and goddess in the society and create the new illusions in the name of religion. 
he goes in the he goes in the pilgrims he he good audit uh, orator and good uh, he is a good in a good interaction he can interact very good to other person he create uh, the, that type of satogunas create the holy um, festivals and holy uh, gatherings and uh, sometimes that satogunas persons they befool other innocent person and create big money like the fake gurus doing similar things now three gunas the rajo atama guna is a very very weak guna if a person is taking the drugs and taking the wine and you will say that is wrong mister he will accept yes you are right i am in wrong path maybe he will not leave that habit but he will be accept so you can easily teach the tamoguna person but although you are teaching effective or not effective it is not another thing but he will be accept your teaching he say yes you are right in the rajoguna person because he is a powerful person because he is a governing person so you cannot a general person cannot teach that person even you are enlightened man he will not hear your teachings he can attack on you because he is powerful like a criminal so he will not uh, accept your teaching and uh, he will destroy your he, he can give you the harm physically mentally emotionally and socially so that is difficult to teach the rajoguni rajoguni you can teach by a powerful man because the powerful man can teach the powerful man if you are a great guru and you have millions of devotees and disciples then you are effective person then you, if you tell something to the rajoguna person he will he will be admit or he will be accept because he knows that you are more than powerful of him but if you are not powerful you if a master is poor and master if a master has no disciples more so if the any master will try to teach rajoguni rajoguni person will repel and attack now the second and third type of uh, mesmerism of maya that is the satoguna satoguna person never accept your teaching never accept he will say what wrong i am doing i am doing services i am doing help in society i am doing religious work i am making temples i am arranging the melas i am going in the pilgrims in the holy places i am helping the weak per weak persons i am uh, uh, organizing the very weak kathas and bhagavat and ramayana and other things what i am doing wrong go teach another person and he will be, because he, he has a ego of his holiness of his good work and he is satisfied inside that i am doing right so most of persons they are not going in the path of atma sakshatkara they are going in the path of the religious practices because they are in satoguna the satoguna is very hard and very highest and very strong 
not of your thought. So, the Satoguni person cannot turn into the God. Because until he leave his ego and he surrender in the feet of the Master, it is too difficult. So what, what type of person they can uh, uh, enlighten or they can awake? So those persons, they are coming previous birth. They have effort about it and they enough love in heart to the God and they, they faith in the Master. They are good heart. Only very few persons can come in this path. My dear friends, it is very unfortunate that the, pro the propaganda gurus, the fake gurus, making this highest holy path like a business or like a career. Mm. Last four months, a, a boy was, came to me and uh, he asked me, I want to learn meditation. I asked, why you want, want to learn meditation? He plainly said to me, I want to make meditation my career. I was amazed. How, how you can, will make meditation your career? He answered me, the many, many fake gurus sent, they are teaching the wrong way of meditation. They are teaching concentration in the place of meditation, but you are teaching right meditation. Then I will learn your meditation and I, will, I want to be guru and I will be earn a lot of money and a lot of uh, facilities and I will take this meditation my career. So, if you see the big and big ashrams and very good arrangement and management and each and everything, there are air conditioned rooms and rest house and very nice gardens and so and so and so. Please, Easily you must understand they are the part of the career of some persons and they are they they may be making you fool in the name of the spiritual path. They, uh, I see in the Himalaya and other place, the person is uh, befooling another person in the name of the uh, name of religion. They are snatching money in the name of puja, and the um, the fake gurus they are making the lakhs and lakhs disciples, and they are gathering the power and they are teaching the disciples if a person criticize your master you should be cut the tongue or kill them so they are making a pet dog they are making their disciples pet dog not they are giving the freedom of awareness i say my disciples to go anywhere and hear any master and if if my words and if my power is true, you will come back to me. I never uh, close my doors my, uh, to my disciples and I never keep them like a jail. I give them freedom. So the gurus, they can, no, 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 no. Do not hear to other and do not go to other gurus and live here and I say it is truth, that type of 
gurus they are only and only working in the favor of trigunas working under of trigunas so the desires the attitudes the liking and disliking the sensory needs they know what you want or what you do not want so they arrange arrangement in favor of you in favor of your desires in interest of you and your admires and your your needs they want your needs physical mental emotional needs so the person they caught in this type of satogunas activities so krishna is telling that three gunas they are create a mesmerism they are create a hypnotism and in this hypnotism in, in this mesmerism the real seekers they do not know about me it is very fortunate thing if you get a enlightened master and you are heart full of faith with him and you do the practice practice says as he teaching that you are the luckiest and you are the fortunatest person of the world but in my experience very very rare and rarest persons want to know the real spiritual truth the most of persons they are agree and accept the fake and imitate the wrong spirituality and very very unfortunate thing is that some thousand years in the society of our, our country also involving this type of faith, faith things which is uh, comes in the three gunas by the effect of three gunas and it culture is well established so that's why a gyani is come enlightened person is come a paras paramanse is come nobody here nobody here that paramanse or gyani when the ram is ram is came who here rama very few person here rama krishna is came who here krishna arjuna and some other person vidur and some somebody sudama and other they love the krishna the enemy or krishna was very very big in numbers but friends of krishna was very few the buddha has came who hear the buddha the kapil come who hear the kapil so my dear friends it is the truth and tradition of this world very few person will hear the enlightened master because the three gunas totally cover this living beings of the world and they create a big mesmerism and they create a big drama they create a big magic they create a a very big noise inside of you all so you can not hear the calling of a master but even you are not hearing master will call you master come and go 
master will come on this earth and do his work and leave the body and the next master will come he will do the work he will call you he will call you if you hear or not hear it is fact that i make nine or ten gurus because my previous gurus they are not in not complete they are, they was incomplete but i respect them because they teach as in as they knows some gurus teach me yoga some gurus teach me the secret of the mantra tantra and others as yet they know and they teach but my complete sadguru which is enlighten me which is give me the supreme knowledge of liberation that was he was rare and rarest when he come in the gita bhavan indor to giving the discourse there was 500 pupils at that time before 760 or 70 years ago the 500 persons was there when he start discourse at the last only 10% wa person was there because his teaching is the high level teaching and they can not understand understand his teachings and they have no interest they want interest they want pleasure in the te master's teachings also they want enjoyment but here is no enjoyment because here is the nectar of truth medicine cannot be tasty all the time medicines test is not good but it is good for health it can be save you from the bacteria and virus infection so the infection of the maya of these three gunas can be cured only by the medicine of the master and the master's medicine medicine is not sweet maybe it is it's a test you not like so if you want to liberation you must do the meditation of awareness the sachidananda sakshi dhyana as i teach you and if you want to liberation if you want to know the ultimate truth that is not word i cannot describe this truth but in the words you have to do meditation you see inside god is presence in you as god was presence in the krishna because krishna is the universal truth his presence is omnipresence thank you very much